Hey, what's up everyone? This is Music Tech Help Guy, and in this video, I am going to show you how to make your MIDI controller control the horizontal and vertical zoom. Specifically, I'm gonna show you how to set this up using the knobs or rotary encoders on your MIDI controller. Now, for this video, I'm using a Novation Launch Key 61 Mark IV, but this should work for any MIDI controller that has rotary encoders like these. I got the idea for this video from a comment. They're saying, hey there, I tried for hours to configure the knob on Novation Launch Key Mark II 25 key to control zoom in and out, but failed. Is it even possible with this controller? Thanks in advance. So yes, it should be possible with any MIDI controller that has rotary encoders, including the Launch Key Mark II. Again, I'm using the Mark IV for this video, but the process is exactly the same. Okay, so for this setup, I'm gonna use my first two rotary encoders here as my uh, horizontal zoom here and my vertical zoom here. Just keep in mind if you are using a Novation launch key that the encoders have different modes that they can operate in. The first four are pre-assigned and the second four are custom modes and these can be selected on the top row of the pads here. You just have to hold shift and then press the pad you want. So for me, I'm using custom mode one, which just assigns the rotary encoders as continuous controllers, starting on CC21, then 22, 23, and so forth and so on. And I can confirm this by going up to the LCD display, going to custom, and then just turning those knobs. You can see there, that's uh, channel 10, CC21, and then you're seeing the minimum and maximum value. And then the next one, CC22, same thing. Okay, so you might think that for zoom controls, you'd wanna go into Logic Pro, Key Commands, Edit Assignments, but really what we need to do is go to Control Surfaces, Controller Assignments, or you can just press Option Shift K. And so what I'll do here is I'll click Learn Mode, and then I'll turn that first CC. And as you can see, it's assigned CC21, but we don't know what the parameter is yet. Now, normally you would like click on a knob or fader or some control in your project to assign it. But what we're gonna do is manually assign it. So up here under the controller assignment parameters under class, we're gonna go to global and then from parameter, go down to horizontal zoom and then everything else can just stay the same. Just make sure that your minimum and maximum values uh, are set all the way to the bottom and all the way to the top of these sliders. And you also wanna make sure that your min max here is set to zero to 127, just in case it isn't. So I can turn off learn mode. And so now we've learned horizontal zoom. Let's go ahead and turn learn mode on again. And I'm gonna turn my second knob here. And you'll see that this shows CC22 and has not been assigned yet. We'll go to class, we'll go to global, we'll go down to vertical zoom this time, double check that our min and max values look okay, and then turn off learn mode. Now I can use my first knob to horizontal zoom. I can zoom in by turning it to the right, zoom out by turning it to the left. And then with my second knob, I can zoom in by turning right and zoom out by turning left. It's as simple as that. Now, you will notice that it's not like 100% perfect. It's not quite as good as using the scroll wheel on a mouse and holding option for vertical zoom or option command for horizontal zoom. That's a little smoother, I think, uh, just in terms of you know, how the zoom is, is functioning, how smooth the zoom is. But if you really need to get you know, two knobs to control your horizontal and vertical zoom, you can totally do it this way. Now, just remember that the area that's zoomed in is going to be dependent on where your playhead is. So if I set my playhead over here and then zoom in, it's gonna sort of, you know, keep that area in focus. And if I zoom back out, maybe I come over here and then zoom in. Again, you'll see that it keeps that area mostly in focus. And once again, if I jump over here and zoom in, same thing. And this also works for regions. So if you select a region, it's going to zoom in and keep the beginning of that region in focus. So you just have to keep that in mind. It's helpful to select something uh, when you zoom in rather than just zooming in uh, without selecting something or you know set your playhead somewhere around an area that you want to uh, zoom in on. Now, one last thing I wanna bring up here is that if you use CCs as zoom controls, you're not going to really be able to use those controls for anything else. 
And so I assigned, in this example, I assigned CC21 and CC22 to those Zoom controls. Using a CC number that's higher up in the list or a lower number, essentially, you're going to get closer to values that are more commonly used. So I would use something that's later on in in the list, like, you know, above 100, like some parameter that you're very unlikely uh, to have mapped in one of your projects. So to change the CC number, it's going to be different for every MIDI controller. For me, I just open up the Novation Components app, and then what I can do is I can load uh, the custom mode from my launch key MK4. So let me actually go ahead and do that. Uh, let's leave this page. Let's get the custom mode from my launch key. We'll go to encoders. The one that I selected was custom mode one. It imports that custom mode. And then I can go to encoder one and I can change the CC number. So maybe I'll use like 100 for this one. And then I'll use like 101 for this one. The only thing I need to do now is I need to send this back to the launch key. So I'll set that to custom mode one and overwrite. And now up here in the LCD display, you'll see that the first knob is CC100 and the second one is 101. But now that zoom control is lost because it's assigned to CC21 and 22. So I need to hit shift option K to go back into my controller assignments and let's reassign these uh, CCs. So I just have to delete these, click learn mode, turn the first one. Now you can see it's CC100. We'll set that to global and horizontal zoom. Do it again for the second one and we'll set this to global and vertical zoom. So just be aware of that. It's completely optional to change your CC numbers. But again, I recommend using numbers that are a little further along in the list, you know, like 100 or higher. So you're not uh, dipping into controls that are commonly used for other parameters. All right, guys, so that's how you can use your encoders on your MIDI controller to control zoom assignments for zoom controls in Logic Pro. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more content like this. The Music Tech Help Guy YouTube channel is now 100% sponsor free. I don't do ad reads, paid reviews, or brand deals, which allows me to focus solely on making educational content that helps the indie music community. Subscribing, liking, and sharing really helps to build the platform in a way that's completely free. But if you'd like to directly support the cause, you can become a channel member to get early access to new videos and courses, or you can head over to my website, logicproguide.com, and purchase one of my courses. You'll be able to download the course completely ad-free, and they also come with demo projects so you can work along with the lessons. Thank you so much for the support, and thanks for watching.